it has been a long time since I put out a video. I actually did the math, and uh, it's been 10 months. April of 2013 was the last time I put out one of these videos, which are uh, Let's Plays, I guess. Um, it's usually more for the purpose of informing kind of the people on the server and maybe a few fans if they're still even around after 10 months. Um, of just kind of what's going on on the getting the cart pig minecraft server and kind of what's going on with me and usually i build shit or i'll change stuff that i've already built or whatever uh i won't be any do, do ugh, i won't be doing any building in this episode but i will be uh showing off a couple things uh and just kind of this will just be more of kind of a catch-up so the last video i put out um it was on an old map. The name of that map was New Big Pig Dig, NBPD for short. Uh, we moved on to a new map with the horse update. And that map was called Get on the Horse Pig, or Goth P for short. We are now on <coughs> a map called Look at Them Biomes Pig, uh, LBP for short. Uh, these all these map names are voted by uh, by the server players. So don't point your finger and laugh at me if you think the names are fucking retarded. <laughs> um, so this map is Goth P. So this is a map that I have never made a video on, and it's at this point it's essentially a retired map. But we still host it. People can still come here um, if you're on the server, but it it is not active no one spends any time here <clears throat> but this is our nether hub um you can see that we defeated the ender dragon for this map on july 13th of last year um you know we have this pretty awesome storage which uh was done by myself mostly but also um one of the other servers on the player one of the other players on the server bon who kind of helped me with the idea then I kind of took it on and, and flushed it out a bit more. Um, I love the logo. The whole Nether Hub was created by um, by Angel of Mercy. That's her username, and she did a pretty freaking awesome job. Like the, I don't remember if it was her that did the logo or not. I'm pretty sure it was, but uh, whoever's idea it was to put a logo in the center of our Nether Hub was it, that that was just the best part. Um, we changed to a quad hallway thing from previous maps. We used to just do two hallways and then two rooms off to the side for all our stuff. But now we have north, south, east, west hallways. And the reason why is because when you go down these hallways, you only have the branching t hallways to the right. There's no branching parts on the left, so it looks kind of swastika-ish if you're looking at the top down. But it is super easy for navigation. Uh, and it makes for a lot less crowded tunnels like we had on the last map. Um, what else we got down here? Uh, mail room, miscellaneous room, just kind of for announcements or whatever, rail station. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out to my kind of like my temporary build thing. Um, I want to say that it's, yeah, it's, it's down in green hallway. Um... So what's been going on with me? Well, uh, in June, the end of June, uh, I proposed to my girlfriend. Uh, I had been with her for, at the time it was three years. We were celebrating our three-year anniversary, and I popped the question. Um, I'll throw a little photo up here for you guys so you can see. And since then, we've been kind of planning our wedding, etc. Um, we are getting married in September this year so we still have quite a bit of time but uh you know it's there's still a decent amount to do um so that's exciting uh i uh, got a sort of promotion at work nothing really official or nothing title changing but i did take on more responsibilities um my company moved to a new office space in july which consumed a ton of my time, which is part of the reason why I kind of stopped making videos. It was April to July was just a shit show, and then after that I just kind of lost interest. I'm not going to make any any more excuses than that. 
Oh, I left the dirt here. So the dirt was, I was originally going to build this tower that went up into the sky that had all this stuff, but um, this is what it originally was. And this is just, this is nothing really even that fancy. It's just, it's a simple entrance with wood stairs, and then, oh, it's similar to like an etho cave-ish type thing. It's just, I laid down grass all over the cave. Up here is where I kept my bed and just some general storage chanting table back there that's pretty much it like that's that's really all it is um, down at the very bottom is my strip mine uh, in here is a massive wheat farm I dug this bitch out using a beacon pretty quickly and I just made this wheat farm um, and it can obviously grow potatoes and stuff too, which I think I had one of these rows or two of them set up for potatoes for a long time. And then the hoppers catch everything. It's, it's really nothing overly complicated, but it is um, large and it was very useful for people. Um, more of the times than not, I like to build these things near spawn so that people can, when people are around, the wheat's growing. Because if I'm not hanging out at my base, then the wheat is not growing um so what i'm gonna do now is uh i'm gonna jump over to hey baby zombie i'm gonna go ahead and say fuck you oh thanks all right um i'm gonna it's a little ways away so i'm just gonna do a quick jump cut over to a can with the fire um, over to where my one project was on this map. Um, I talked to Big Game and, and said I was going to do multiple things, and I was going to help other people's projects, and, and really, in all honesty, the map was only up for, I think, just under four months, so it wasn't a long time, but I did manage to get one project done, um, and I will catch up with you when I'm there. All right. We are here at Van Vitelli Brewery. The sun is just coming up, and I planned that perfectly, and I actually did, because when I came here the first time, it was raining at night, and I waited for like three in-game days for the rain to fucking stop. So we're here, and it's daylight. Hooray! Um, so this is my brewery, Van Vitelli Brewery. Uh, I made all this by myself, and I will give you the tour. So welcome to Van Vitelli Brewery. Brewery tours are available on Saturdays at these times. I try to make it feel authentic. I'm a big beer person. I love beer, and I love different types of beer. Uh, the only kind of beer I don't like is beer that tastes like coffee. I do like lots and lots of dark beers, but I don't like the ones that taste like coffee. Um, start your door To start your tour, go out the doors behind you and follow the numbered signs. So we'll just do that. I'll just follow it like I was a regular person. And I tried to set this up in a way that was very friendly to if anyone visited, then they could just come and do the tour, and I wouldn't have to be there for it. So, uh, number one, start your tour this way. Uh, two, continue this way. I thought so. So, um, before I go to <coughs> the actual parts of the tour, I mean, let's let's do this. Let's see if I can get it up there. Nice. So, this is my wheat field, and I use the wheat to make wheat beer. I actually use it to make a bunch of different kinds of beer, but wheat is a good good ingredient for beer, and it just looks cool to have the fields. I have this giant aqueduct coming out of the mountain um, and going down. Uh, it didn't used to be snow-capped. Because when I built it, it was before 1.8. So now anything above a certain height is snow-capped. Um, but I built this big aqueduct. And the water flows all the way down. And I'll, I'll show you the end of that. And it um, comes down here and irrigates all this land. What I'm standing on was here. I mean, I, this was all mostly here. Um, I only did some minimal terraforming. Um, I mean, it was a lot of terraforming, but it wasn't drastic terraforming. Crap. Um, so you can see, uh, I actually would harvest this every now and then, but it's more for show than it is for function. Uh, let's see, where was number three? How far did I need to go down? But you can see the thing we just came from on top. I decided that was there, and I decided to leave that there. I thought it looked cool with the natural landscape. 
all the water does like flow out around it's like a big kind of basin or whatever you want to call it ah there we are uh wheat's grown uh ingredients they're moved to the brewery so the way they are moved is they're put on these carts uh, I originally had these set up as the carts with the chests in them or whatever, but they kept despawning for some reason. So, and also I was putting wheat, storing wheat in them, uh, so I didn't like the fact that I kept losing that stuff. So, if you get lost, just follow the rails. So here's the rear entrance to the brewery. It's kind of cramped. Poor design flaw. I know, I know. All right. So here is. Where's the sign for this boy? There we go. Here is where the wheat is milled into fine grain. So there's kind of two iron gears here, and this is where all the wheat is milled. It's all brought right here, and you can see that it's turned by a giant water wheel. And there's water that flows here, and it comes over and flows down. So if we head down the stairs, water is added, and the grain is mashed. So we mash it up. The mash is separated into clear wort and excess grain. The excess grain is fed to cattle. I don't actually have cattle here. I meant on, I meant to put a cow farm here, but I just never got around to it. Um, sugar and hops are added to the wort. Oh, that's word. I should say wort. And is boiled. Wow, that's a typo I've had up for months. Um, the liquid is then added to this whirlpool. So as the as the wheat is or the wort is brought up. Uh, it's added into the whirlpool here, and then after that, uh, we will take it out and run it through this cooling unit, because it's going to be really hot, so we'll cool it off as it comes out here, and then once the, uh, it's, once the liquid is cool, uh, yeast is added, and the liquid ferments it to beer. Excess yeast and CO2 are removed, and now it's beer. Um... Before I continue, which goes into that way, um, here is where the wheat the that is ground up, that is milled, is stored in here. And then I also then from here it gets brought over to these three stations and then back through here. Um, also, this goes over to our silos, which has loads and loads of excess wheat that we can use for brewing beer at any time. Um, after we go through, that's supposed to be like a temperature or pressure gauge or something like that. Um, the beer is put into a maturing tank. So this bigger tank is where the beer is put to mature. So with that, you know, and then when it comes to actually brewing beer, when you finish your beer, it doesn't taste the way it should. You usually need to wait, and it depends on the brewing process. Some brewers can get away with putting their beer out after a week after it's finished. Most of the time it's two or more. Some people even su suggest you wait six months, and then you can get, even get into the really expensive stuff. Like I've bought, you know, one of my friends who's a bigger beer person than I am, and I bought him a bottle for his birthday that was like 40 bucks or something like that, and it was just one bottle of beer. I mean, it was a liter bottle, not like a six-pack bottle. And the later bottle was that much, but the beer had been aged in an oak cask for a year before they even release it. So, uh, yeah, and it was very good. Uh, last step, the beer is ran through the filtering unit. Head through the office door to behind you to continue. So this filtering unit comes out, and then it goes out there uh, and over the road. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, so we go into the office, continue to tour, head through the main doors. And I'll just show you in here real quick. So this is just a little office thing and a little reception desk or whatever. The only thing that I didn't, um, well, no, never mind. Um, so then we get to the 14 part. 14, head through the double doors. They're already open. And you can see the, the way that the finished beer is moved. It's brought all the way through into there, and I'll show you that, which we can go to through here. So this is the tap room. So... In here we have lots of beer. So this is where most people want to come. Um, this is where they can try the beer. So these are our taps. Um, first two samples are free. Individual samples are one dollar a piece after that. Or you can try all six for three bucks. Pretty damn cheap. But hey, I'm a, I'm a new brewer and I'm just trying to make a name for myself. <laughs> Beers we have Appia Pale Ale. Um, Van Vitelli, the reason I went with Van Vitelli is because of the large aqueduct that is the defining feature of the build. Um, or this big-ass building, whatever whatever you prefer. Um, 
but Van Vitelli is the name of a famous aqueduct in Rome or Italy, one of the two. Um, so all of the names of these beers are named after different aqueducts uh, in Italy. So we have Appia Pale Ale, which is light in color. Alcitina. Oh, wow. Alcitina. I think that's how you say it. I don't know for sure. Uh, that's an IPA. Amber color, Virgo triple. So these are wheat beers, so a lot of these are Belgian beers. So we have an Annual Novus double, which is a darker beer. Alexandrina, Belgian wit beer, a light amber, and an Augusta, Belgian wit beer. So we had two different Belgian wit beers. One is an amber, one is lighter. Um, and then I actually went through, and as you can see, I brewed, I brewed beer. I actually made it into a finished form. Um, for people to kind of come and take if they wanted to have souvenirs or whatever. No one did, obviously, but that's okay. The amount of levels I had to put in to name all these, you have no idea. Okay, so the last part of the tour here is to put the beer in casks and age it some more. Um, the way, the reason there's a big aging tank in the brewery and then there's also casks in here is the aging tank, that's the beer that kind of I would... I'll send off to the other parts of our Minecraft map, the parts that don't really need the finest of the beers, but if you want the good beer, you come here and you get a bottle from me. I'm such a dork, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, put it in the casks, they're stored here, I think I head back to the taste room and try it. These are just some big, big casks I've built, nothing, nothing that special. There's where all the beer comes from, excess supplies. Excess beers. Yeah. And that's that. That's the brewery. This I want to say I think is my is my best build. It's and even if it's not my best build, it's definitely my favorite build. Um I think that I've done a lot of stuff. I'm not like the greatest builder in the world, but I'm not bad. I know I, I make good stuff. But uh this I think is by far the my favorite of my own builds um and i think best too it's my favorite just because i love beer and i thought it was cool to make a functional thing something that actually kind of had a purpose and that i could get an end product with it's it's not actually a functional end product but it i pretend it is um the aqueduct eventually comes over here and uh runs into the stream i should say this little lake which then flows down this way, and it flows into this big river that goes around the jungle. Um, let's see if we can do a little jump D up onto the aqueduct. Let's hope I didn't fuck that throw up. There we go. Okay. So, um, oh, the snow. I hate the snow up here. It bugs me so much. Um... So then there's also this one other offshoot here, which, oh boy, again, okay, okay. It flows down into the brewery, and that goes over the cooling station. So after it becomes warped, and then it's added into the swirler, whatever, I forget what it was called exactly. But that's where the water comes from. So I guess now that it's snow-capped, I guess it gives the better illusion that the water is very cold. But that doesn't make as much sense for growing down there. But we'll go a little further up just to get another tall view of the fields. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, we're good. Um, and then back this way, I can show you the water wheel a little better. Here. And you can see I made it actually look like water's flowing over it. It's not actually spinning, though, and I think that that's probably okay, considering we're in Minecraft. Uh, so yeah. So, I'd love to tell you, I'm pretty much done with the brewery, by the way, and done showing stuff, so I'm just going to talk for a little bit longer uh, about some updates, and then I'll, I'll be out of your hair. Um, so, I'd love to say that I'm going to make more videos. I'd love to say that. Uh, but I just can't say with any confidence that it will work has always been busy in my life and i just i for the time uh, excuse me for the period of time that i was making videos where i was putting out like one every day almost 
it was just eating up so much of my free time that I just never did anything that I wanted to anymore, um, which sucked. Um, and, you know, my social life has definitely picked up to uh, making more friends, I guess, or at least just hanging out with friends more often now on the weekends. And that was my, like, big time to record. I was always recording a ton on the weekends and editing, you know, kind of nightly um, of all that recorded footage. So, uh, I... What the fuck? A baby pigman? Oh, he must have came out of the portal. Um, so I'd love to say I'm going to make more, but I can't make any promises. Hopefully I'll make some more, and hopefully I'll actually do some building and some Let's Play type stuff, and I'll do some collaborations with other people maybe, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, I don't have anything strict uh, in terms of plans, except for Caven with Alex. Now, that is a video series that a lot of potential and was short-lived and it's going to make a return i'll tell you right now it's going to make a return it will be there will be some time between episodes at most a month but i'm hoping to try and get one out one or one every one or two weeks um you'll probably see the first one pop up in a couple weeks uh maybe maybe sooner if i can get to scheduling with the person i plan on doing the episode with um if you're not familiar with cave with alex it's really just Came in with me. We just we grab iron armor, uh, iron tools, or iron. I should say iron sword and iron armor. That's unenchanted. Just to try and give us a little bit of a challenge. I mean, even iron armor is tough uh, to die in. But it's I don't want to have this happen. But the idea is, if if either of us die, then it's episode over, and we're done. But otherwise, we shoot for half an hour. I kind of interview the person in a way. And we just kind of go around and we talk and we cave and we get to know each other and we run into monsters and we run into diamonds and, and shit like that. And it's fun. It gives me a chance to get to know people better on the server. It gives you guys a chance to get to know people better on the server. And most of the time, they're entertaining or funny. And if they're not, then I don't really care. So anyway, you'll see a return for that. As for the rest of the stuff, like I said, I can't promise. But, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to ask for likers, likes or subscribers, because I am i don't take this seriously. I'm just here to make videos every now and then. Um, I do have uh, a video of some Gary's Mod Murder that some of the guys on the server and I have been playing. Um, I have a decent amount of footage from it. I'd like some more so that I can kind of make some highlight reels. Similar to C Nanners, I'm not trying to like imitate him by getting subscribers or anything of that nature. I just think that he's got a good formula and the people he plays with and himself obviously entertaining. And I think the same can be said for me and the people that we play with here. So it's more of a, oh, I'm going to make these Gary's Mod Murder videos for all of you who play on the JTP server. Or if you don't, that's cool too if you like them, but it's really kind of just hey, this is what we've been doing, and, you, you know, obviously you're more than welcome to join us or to bug bug someone about, hey, let's play, whatever. Um, you know, and we'll do some prop hunt or some other shit like that, but um, just some things to change it up. Those videos don't come up very often because they take a lot of time to edit. I'm rambling. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, I hope you all have a nice day, and uh, I will talk to you soon. See ya.